Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan, where we have a more soft tart by going by the name of Gerard Grayson, who, well, ends up trying all his little soft tart tricks on the judge, but it really gets him nowhere fast. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. City of Detroit versus Gerard. I will race in case number SP1463900, counts one, two, and three, SP1464991, SP1464761, appearance for the record, please. Great to be. Oh, boy. We got ourselves in El Bay here. That a real life, total moronic. Moorish sovereign citizen, or well, the total package of a sovtard at our hands. So please stand up and take a bow because you were a total moron, and doubly so if you decide to go well pro se. But we shall soon see about that. Sherika Harris on behalf of Mr. Grayson Bay. All right, good morning to you, sir. Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor, I'm going to represent myself. Well, no shit. Yeah. Rain. 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 In this matter, and for the record, my name is Grayson Bay. All right, uh, 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 City of Detroit versus Javar Grayson Bay. Uh, I'm trying to get um, Mr. Ambrose out of the breakout room, Ms. Snyder. Your offer, sir, is a $240 fine, um, failure to display, and a seatbelt ticket. Um, you pay those, we'll close the other matters out. That will abstract to the Secretary of State. And then the seatbelt ticket is $65. So $240 $65. We'll close the matters. We'll close the matters out. That'll be a failure to display. It will abstract, but it won't carry any points. Um, and today is the date and time set for a trial. Uh, Your Honor, today was uh, supposed to be set for trial, and um, I, don't is, consent to, I don't consent to any of this. Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Smooth Brain Softard. If you truly believe that, then you wouldn't be uh, even, uh, well, entertaining this idea of this court hearing. You would be off playing video games or something like that, or uh, making sure that you didn't have any wrinkles in your brain with a CAT scan or something like that. Okay, it is set for trial. I just gave you your offer so that you can... Uh, can you go in? Okay, there you I just gave you your offer so you could. Um, that, that I'm not be, accepting that. I won't accept that you, offer. Uh, Mr. Corporal Ambrose, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Good morning, Corporal Brian Ambrose. Yeah. Troy Police Department, Badge 415. Good morning to you. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, Corporal, are you ready to proceed, Corporal Ambrose? Yeah. Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor, I would object to holding this trial. I believe he stated that he's a different person. We have a ticket for a Mr. Javar Grayson. Grayson Bay is an entirely different person. We don't have jurisdiction over. We don't have a case over. I would object to holding that trial. Oh yeah, he is here. He just doesn't want to admit it because he thinks he can get away with this soft, tart, nonsense, philosophical garbage that we are two different people the corporate person and the living person yeah that's what they think right there believe it or not the living person and the corporate person that we are two separate entities to begin with nope that's not how it works so please mr l bay please do the smart thing and actually read a damn book on the law and understand that has never really worked, at least in the modern judicial system. I mean, in past judicial systems of other countries, you could put a uh, like a horse on trial for something or another like that. I mean, it was ridiculous. 
I'm going to deny the objection. I, he's he just uh, said he's Grayson Grayson Bay. He just uh, you know, I don't think he's objecting to the. I object that to that, Your Honor. I'm objecting, and I also questioning jurisdiction. Yeah, of course you would say that. I mean, if you actually believe that you're under admiralty law and that your land yacht ended up getting pulled over in the city of Detroit, and you would think that, well, oh, I'm not under admiralty law, I'm under common law. You are under, under the jurisdiction of the uh, corporate states of America or something like that. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but there's no legal basis for it anyway because well it's an insane legal theory that only you soft tarts have okay well i'm denying your motion about jurisdiction sir um you, you, the court has jurisdiction over you so let's let's are, are you ready to proceed mr grayson bank no i'm not i eject to anything that you would call yourself doing also i like the um add that I sent this uh, uh, Brian and brochure. I sent him a COL. It's a color of law form. I uh, warned him about this situation. Oh, color of law. Uh, do you, have you ever actually read the color of law? Because it is, uh, well, not what you think it is. It's not going to help you out in this case because it's all about civil rights having been denied services based upon your uh, race, gender, color, uh, religion, and a lot of other things. And it always seems to amaze me that you guys want to point out this particular law right here when you want to go and say that the only thing that matters is what's in the Constitution. Well, the color of law is not exactly in the Constitution. In fact, the color of law really only exists because of the Tenth Amendment, you dumbass. Because the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But all of you sovereign citizens want to con conveniently forget about that, don't you? Uh, this process is also in Wayne County. He's being sued. Um, we can continue this all day. I also will add you to the case if you want to continue this. This needs to be dismissed today. Today. Are you threatening me? Um, and I will see you at, uh, Brian Ambrosius in three weeks in Wayne County. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and proceed because it's not going to be dismissed today. Okay. Well, so you can do what you want to do over in circuit court, then have your way. That is your right. I don't know Thank how you. you're proceeding in circuit court when you feel Thank that you. this court doesn't even have jurisdiction over you. So you. let's go ahead and proceed. Corporal Ambrose, um, uh, you want to speak with um you want to speak with them before we proceed, Ms. Snyder? Yes, Your Honor, and I do think we just need to clear up on the record that Your Honor has denied my motion to not have this matter heard today based on this defendant saying he is not the defendant before us. And also that that defendant has agreed that he is not the defendant before us, but Your Honor is telling us to still do this trial. I need to make sure that's clear on the record. Yeah, I, I don't think that he's denying that that he's not Javar. Javar Grayson Bay. Are you denying that you're not you're Javar Grayson Bay, sir? I am the living person, Grayson Bay, in living form. Okay, Javar so Grayson is, is an artist. Uh, he, however he wants to articulate it, we'll let him articulate that. He's Grayson Bay. He's Javar Grayson Bay. His mom gave him that name. I don't think that's any dispute. Okay. So that name yes, has a I, social I, I think security this card is attached be pretty, to it. It also has. I think, this a, is, uh, I think it's going to be pretty quick, Ms. Snyder. Um, I'll okay, put you in a breakout room with Corporal Ambrose and, and put it that way. It is just a, um, an expired plate, a seatbelt ticket, no proof of insurance. Uh, what is this other thing? A refuse to exhibit license and a, and a false information ID. So just join the breakout room, have a conversation with Corporal Ambrose, and then um, we'll just we'll just uh, hear it. And um, if you know he has a right to remain silent, he says he doesn't want to be represented by a lawyer. And um, you can just put your case on the record, and I'll, I'll have to make a decision based on that. Thank you. 
many, many minutes later. We believe that the substantial harm that the people would suffer would be the defendant has already stated he's filing numerous lawsuits against the court, against the parties, against the officer. We believe we'd be giving him a golden parachute. It's just one more issue to add to his level of appeals. This is one issue that needs to be clarified. Of course, he will be found, I believe, through fingerprints to be either the person given that ticket or Javar Grayson, the person given the ticket, will be given a KPS warrant and we can move on. But I do believe that this issue needs to be handled before we make a further record, I have a duty to mitigate the city's damages. And I believe that's what we're doing and what I was advised to do by my supervisor. And, and But how is the city, how would the city be harmed at all if we proceed? Um, what, what, what would be any harm for the city? Uh, uh, if you, especially if you acknowledge the fact that you think that by fingerprints, that that would be Mr. Jabbar Brace. But Your Honor, I, I, what we think and what we can prove as a matter of the record and as the court of law is different, I, I do understand. I, I believe he's being frivolous. I think he is wasting the court's time. You're damn right uh, on that one because the sovereign citizen nonsense is just a method to try to gum up the works. And this El Bay character right here is just one of many who take that El Bay thing and uh, try to gum up the works and... Uh, well, uh, yeah, if you fingerprint him, you'll definitely find out that it is the guy you're looking for. And, uh, well, if it's not, then, well, the original guy that you are looking for is going to be issued a warrant. So either way, uh, yeah, the original defendant is going to come out looking like a complete moron anyway. But... I do think that as lawyers, as a court of law who do have to face appellate issues, this is something that we need to clear up on the record and have a clear record, such as a chain of custody of who Mr. Grayson is. I don't think it would take that long. Or we could we could solve this today with giving Javar Grayson the capious warrant and let Bay, whoever he may be, you know, go on about his business. Either or. But I do think that having this trial over both of our objections is not the correct answer. I just don't feel, I just, I just, I just don't feel, it can't stand one, I, I, I just, I just, I don't see any harm in proceeding. He's already indicated that he is Javar Grayson, except he wants to be acknowledged as Javar Grayson Bay, or, or, or he's the living, um, I don't know how he termed it, uh, 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 person of Javar Grayson Bay. I don't think that, as a matter of fact, when Corporal Ambrose came in the room and introduced himself, I saw Mr. Grayson Bay um, sort of uh, kind of had a look on his face. And to me, I took that look as he knows uh, Corporal Ambrose. And um, there's no question, um, I, I haven't asked Corporal Ambrose is if this is the person that he pulled over, but I will definitely let you acknowledge, ask uh, Corporal Ambrose that. But I don't think that there is any sort of identity issue here. I think the issue comes into something that we've seen um, probably, I don't know how many times, and I'm sure we're going to see it more in the future. And I agree that those things are frivolous and they do not apply. So I don't see where anywhere where we can't proceed with this. Not unless Corporal Ambrose says that uh, to you and, 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 and through you that this is not, I, I can't, I don't recognize this person that's here and uh, was this not the person that, or uh, even if um, if there was, um, I, you know, I would even allow Mr. Grayson Bay to to uh, to uh, put on a identity defense and say and that wasn't me. He 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 did that wasn't uh, that wasn't the defense. I don't know what his defense is going to be. Your Honor, uh, may I, um, but no, you can't. No, you okay. can't. No. When I ask you to when I when I want you to speak, no I'll allow you to speak. I'm going to give you that no opportunity. No problem. To so to settle this matter about your objection, you know. It's like um, if, if the court rules bound me not to proceed because you wanted an interlocutory appeal, then that would be the court rules would, would, would bind me to do so. But I don't know of a court rule that's going to bind me not to appeal. And I just don't see 
um, in what harm it will be to any other parties, uh, the defense or the uh, city, uh, by us uh, 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 proceeding in this fashion. Um, I understand he's got cases over in circuit court. He may have cases over in federal court. He, I don't know. But here again, we're here. Uh, the parties are present, and I'm satisfied at least that that's that's the Mr. Uh, uh, Javar Grayson Bay. That the person we have the right person here in court today. So I'll let you make a last minute record, uh, Ms. Schneider. Can I just have one? My supervisor walked away. Can I have one second to go talk to her? Yes. Now you are. Uh, you can. Let's see if you want to. If Mr. Grayson has anything, I'm gonna allow him an opportunity to speak so you can hear what he has to say. Go ahead, Mr. Grayson. Bay. Um, Your Honor, I sent you a, a declaration of notice stating who I am and the fraud, uh, Javar Grayson. Um, I sent you the paperwork. Uh, this was over three or four months ago. I'm pretty sure you have plenty of time to um, read and understand the situation. Yeah, and I'm sure you think that all that uh, nonsensical pseudo legal garbage is totally unimpeachable, but that's what it is. It's just legal garbage that has no place in the legal system because it's just a bunch of nonsense to begin with. I mean, here's what they believe we have a living self and the corporate self when we're born. The living self is not subjected to the rules and the laws of the world, while the corporate person, a.k.a. the dead person, is the one that is subjected to the laws and the rules of the world and can be sued and can be imprisoned. So that's the way they go about that. They want the corporate fiction the uh, dead person to be the one that takes the punishment while the living person them just goes away scot-free that's not how that works and that like i say again that is my declaration of notice you should have that in the file as we speak anything further and i object to this and again your court system has right, no what is your, what is, what is your wait, give me a give me a Point to a court rule or uh, put your legal objection on the record. What is your objection? My objection is jurisdiction. Okay. Well, I deny that objection. Boom. Roasted. All right. All right. Go ahead, Ms. Snyder. We'll pass the matter. Uh, we'll allow you to speak with your supervisor. All right, let's go ahead um, and let's get uh, Mr. Let's go back on the record with Mr. Uh, Ernesto uh, Lopez Gomez. Uh, well, well, Mr. Moore Softar, do you have any other tricks up your sleeve uh, that you want to try? Because the living and dead person trick didn't work and uh, threatening him with lawsuits didn't work. Uh, Jurisdiction argument didn't work. What else have you got? I'm sure it won't be anywhere as effective as them because those are all the soft tards best plays and none of them ever work. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?